You guys wanted it and I'm here to deliver it. Your favorite Worldwide Menace is back at it again in an all new series, so let's jump right into it in Nemesis Reloaded Part 1. The story begins with Nemesis letting us know that everything we heard before is a lie and that this is how his story started as we pick up at a farm in Wisconsin. An elderly farmer tries to reassure his wife, who is frightened, that there is nothing there, before he walks into the room where she tells him that he's under the bed as we see Nemesis himself holding two guns. The story then jumps over to Los Angeles. We see a man of high regard leaving a movie premiere on the red carpet with a woman on his arm. They get into a limo then drive off and during the drive they chat a bit about Tarantino movies. But then out of nowhere, Nemesis bursts in through the windshield and grabs the man before escaping with him on his glider. He wakes up asking where he is and Nemesis tells him that he's in a swimming pool. Nemesis then reveals that he's captured all of LA's gang leaders and blindfolded them and the blindfolds are rigged with bombs so they can't take them off. The only way for them out is to kill everyone around them with the random weapons that Nemesis gave them. They begin fighting to the death while Nemesis explains that he'll only be here for the next 7 days and he's gathering henchmen to take care of a newly elected mayor. After that we find out that the man Nemesis kidnapped, who is revealed to be named Carlos, is the winner and his prize is a bullet to the head from Nemesis. Nemesis then narrates his super Batman-esque origin story while riding a motorcycle cycle to his next mission. He explains that he's been traveling the world honing his cruelties since he was 10 years old, basically learning how to be evil from drug dealers, murderers, and gang leaders. But now he's back hitting the city of angels after spending 20 years making a new plan. He then leaps off of his bike and bursts through a skylight into a high end club where he absolutely goes to work with two katanas. He kills everyone in the room, slicing, cutting, and stabbing through any body parts that he can as we see literal heads flying off of their bodies. He also released gas into the room to kill the people that he couldn't get to. And then after that he steals a diamond worth a hundred million dollars before all of his henchmen enter the room. Nemesis informs them that the cops are on their way so he wants them to grab all the valuables that they can and to leave their guns behind. They're confused as to why they even brought the guns then and Nemesis tells them that they aren't there for backup and that they were just carrying his extra ammunition. We then meet Nemesis's target Joe Costello an ex-cop, former DA, and newly elected mayor determined to save the city. So pretty much everything that Nemesis hates. After that we go back to our main man where 15 to 20 cops arrive at the building. Nemesis then loads up his arsenal and tells his henchmen to wait one more minute. Meanwhile Joe accepts the office of mayor, asking where his police chief is because he wants her on stage. And that's when her lifeless body drops from the rafters, hanging by her neck as all of the lights go out. Nemesis then broadcasts a message across all of LA before we find out that he slaughtered all of the cops who surrounded him earlier. He reveals that he has a great plan for the city and then shoots a cop directly in the head on a live stream before revealing that he's putting a bounty worth $10,000 on the heads of every single cop in the city. But that's sadly when our issue comes to an end so let me know if you want me to cover what happens next by liking and commenting down below.